Hey there e-bike fans, in this video we're going to be reviewing the electric air pump model AP2 found on Amazon. That's a portable electric air pump that you can take with you on the road and it also acts as a USB charger plus it has a built-in tire gauge that automatically stops pumping as soon as it hits the right pressure point of where you have it set. So let's get started on the review. All right, so before we get started on the review on the electric pump, I first want to give a shout out to my brother-in-law for getting me this for Christmas. It was on my Christmas wish list, and unfortunately because of all the lockdown, we couldn't see each other, but he ended up picking it up and shipping it out to me, so I finally got it, and I'm excited to review it because this is a pretty cool product. Now, also, I also want to give a shout out to Bamboo Boxer. They make bamboo boxers and also these shirts that I wear in all my videos. They've been a huge supporter of the channel very appreciative of them and because we've hit another milestone of 750 subscribers one of you lucky subscribers is going to get one of these shirts for free so if your name is appearing right here congratulations and be sure to go ahead and email me at the email address above so that you can get your shirt i'll ship it out to you just you gotta get uh, your size and your address and i'll be able to get that shirt out to you right away now let's get back to the electric pump and while I'm opening this, I also want to mention that at the next milestone of 1,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away two more of the Bamboo Boxer shirts. And so you want to make sure you're a subscriber on the bottom. What I do is I go through and I'll randomly choose two winners for the next shirt. And of course, I'll send those out as well. So the electric pump here is actually really quite small and comes with a valve stem. It also comes with a little bag. Hold that in here. And the pump is actually really small. You know, it's a very small pump here. Turns on that way. Hold down and instruction manual. USB charging cable. It looks like a Schrader valve converter as well. So Trader valve converter there, and then also a needle for balls. Kind of like a needle point for, I guess, for inflatable tubes and uh, those type of uh, pool inflatable type items there. So we have all of that put together. This is a rechargeable unit. But what's really cool about one of these devices, not only do you have a pump with you that can pump up your tire, but also you have a USB charging port at the top here. So you can plug in your phone. Uh, when you're charging this device, this cable goes from, of course, any type of USB charging device, uh, charger to into the unit here, and then it can charge. But you can also charge your iPhone or, you know, like I have my flashlights and all those other different devices on there. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so let's take a good look at this unit up close. Here you have your front and your display screen. This is the bottom, the fan runs out. You have your ports, your charging port for your phone, also to charge this unit that goes in here. And of course, this is where you attach. Let's go ahead and put this in. There. And we also have our on and off button. So we're gonna go ahead and hold this down. When it gets to the top, it turns on. So on the set here, depending on what you're going to be inflating, you can do hit it once, it goes to a ball. And then we have a car, a motorcycle, and of course bicycles. So those are the different type of devices that you're gonna be um, pumping up. Then you can set your PSI level, okay? And I have it down to actually 20. That's what we wanna set it at. And we'll go ahead and pump up the tire at this point. Basically how it works is take your cap off, Screw, screw the end on here. I have it turned on already. And once it starts to read, it says it has 11 pounds of pressure already in the tire. We have it set to the 20 that we want and we hit go. And as you can see, it says done once it hits its 20. So all you do is remove this. And that's it, you're good to go. Hold it down and it'll shut off the pump. Put your screw cap back on 
and we're ready to go. So that's pretty much how this pump works. That's all it really takes. Okay, so this part of the video, I just wanted to mention that I've been noticing that there's been a lot of you guys using the affiliate links below, and I really appreciate that. But one thing that really struck me was that this was one of the number one selling items of all the affiliate stuff that I have linked below. And I can see why, I mean, it's a great product and it's a really great solution for the Electric XP. But I also wanted to mention that it's also, you know, not only well insulated, it has, you know, that silver lining that we had seen. And if those of you who haven't seen this particular product that I reviewed, you can go back through the channel and look at that. We actually have a, a good review on this one. But I also wanted to mention, this is a great place to actually put your battery as well. So I'm actually gonna get another one of these so I can have two. One for, of course, my bottles, but also because if I ever wanted to put my phone here and charge it, this is a great small, close location and it's pretty well protected with the insulation and also the padding that's uh, around here as well. So the extreme heat or cold, it's gonna be there. And with this, it'll keep it from falling out. It may bounce around a little bit, so maybe I might use a Velcro strap to strap it around just to keep it you know, more steady. But again, like I said, I'm gonna get a second one. It'll be side by side, and I'd be able to go ahead and just put this in here. Great place to hold my charger to go ahead and charge up my phone in case I ever need to. And also, I'd be having my battery pack ready to go. Also, because I have my camera mount here for my action camera, it can also charge that as well. So if I need another um, source of power to keep my action recordings of my videos of when I'm writing, that's a great place to also have it. So just wanted to let you know that's an option with using one of these. If you're wondering, well, it's great to have an extra charger, but where would I put it? And you don't want to have a cable running too far. This is an awesome place to do it. And this bag mounts really strong and sturdy to it. Now I have my battery charger and my pump all in one place, very close, easy to remove, easy to take out. I can just throw this in my bag if I'm gonna run into a store so no one takes it, runs off with it. Everything's set up to go. Just an idea, just a thought there, and I'd love to hear your comments on what you guys are doing and what else do you guys have, if there's any other suggestions on accessories. I also have a torque wrench that I just recently got I'm gonna be reviewing because I want just, you know, as I'm learning about e-bikes, I'm learning about the importance of knowing how much to tighten these things. Those are, that's another video coming up. Also, the stand that this is coming on, uh, some of the PVC creations that I actually have, I'm also gonna be reviewing that as well. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Thank you guys all for the support that you've been giving, the great comments and the feedback. And also thank you for liking the video and don't forget to subscribe. Again, uh, when we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be giving two more Bamboo Boxer shirts away. So it only goes to subscribers. When you're on the list that's there, that's how I'm pulling it and it's gonna be randomly pulled. Thank you again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a safe ride.